Hello, Booktube. Cheers. Nice day out today. Um, odd day, though. Um, didn't hang around the house at all. In fact, I just got home. We had to bring the kids to southern Vermont. Well, we're almost in southern Vermont. I guess that matters how you look at it. We had to bring them farther south in Vermont because they help out, um, my two oldest help out with turtle counts. So they go out in the wild, they're called, we, you know, biologists will call and say that he needs them in a certain place and then they go with him and we drive them to wherever that might be. You know, sometimes north of us, sometimes south of us thus far. So um, they're very excited and they get their big old boots on and their packs and their all their stuff. And we drive them down and we meet, in this case, at a uh, parking lot near the forest and the river where they were going to count. And then we've got the, the littlest guy with us and we go wandering around. So we went down to Brattleboro, Vermont, which is quite a bit south of us. And uh, a bookstore I saw there during the pandemic, I thought, well, when that opens up, I, I hope it survives, and I'd love to come back, and we did. And I got a couple books that I'm thrilled about. Um, and then I thought I was going to do more, but the best laid plans. So in Vermont, it's not always a good idea to rely on your GPS. More than 50% of our roads are dirt. Um, some of them can be quite... Uh, challenging, I guess is the word, and uh, you may be looking over the side of a mountain before you know what happened. And uh, I mean, I have a four wheel tr drive truck, so it's, it's not usually a big deal, but uh, you, you can't rely on a GPS. It's either going to send you the wrong way and get yourself in trouble because there's all different levels of roads, and, or it's just not going to work because you don't get any signal through a lot of the, a lot of the that country. So we were looking for a particular orchard to, before we were going to do some more book hunting. And um, GPS cut out. Normally I have what's called a Delorme Gazetteer. It's a company out of Maine that does wonderful book size or large format maps. Which I actually prefer on these roads anyway because you're going to see the grade of the road. You're going to see some of the terrain and all that, which can be fun. Um, and the GPS will never give you that. You don't get relationship to the landscape with a GPS like you do with like a Delorme map. Um, I've seen those maps with other states. Of course, it's a main thing. Thankfully, they do Vermont. They do it in New Hampshire. Actually, I think they combine the two now. I know I've seen Massachusetts. I spent an afternoon looking at one from Alaska that was just fill you with dreams. But a lot of states have them. I don't know if they do all the states. But they're wonderful to have, especially as a backup if your GPS decides it's going to send you. <laughs> it sent us into an open field to find a school. It, there was no school there. There's woods around it. But. So anyway, we ended up not going to another book shopping place. We just got home just a bit ago. But what I got was good enough so that I'm quite happy with the day. Um... And I thought I'd share it with you. So the bookstore I went to, it's called Brattleboro Books. And there's their bookmark. Um, when the fellow that was working the counter, he's sort of a quiet guy. And then all of a sudden he saw what I got and he was full of conversation because he was excited by it. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to start off with that. And this is The Golden Ocean by Patrick O'Brien. It's his first novel, I believe. Uh, da, 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 da. let me see this first novel Patrick O'Brien ever wrote about the sea so it's not his first novel it, but it's not an Aubrey Matterin book and I wanted I've not read this and I've not read the second book the follow up book which I have right here so these are the two that go together the one I got today is the first one the Golden Ocean and the second one is the Unknown Shore and there are these beautiful Norton editions um, I don't know who did the, they should say who did the cover art. I got a good idea. Yeah, Jeff Hunt, who is famous for those and for the Aubrey Matter ones too. So, um, yeah, really excited um, to have it. I'd like to read them. Uh, it's year 1740, Commander 
later Admiral Anson, embarked on a voyage that would become one of the most famous exploits in British naval history. Move up here a little bit. Sailing through poorly charted waters, Anson and his men encountered disaster, disease, and astonishing success. They circumnavigated the globe and uh, seized a nearly incalculable sum of Spanish gold and silver. But only one of the five ships survives the voyage. So it sounds quite exciting. Um, a couple weeks ago, I just finished the fourth Aubrey Matterin novel, um, The Marisha's Command. And um, so I'm talking to this guy, and he, he, he was like really um, excited about it and uh, was talking to me. He has a friend, I guess, who reads all 20 Aubrey Matin or, uh, Matterin novels every summer. And that, that's, that's quite a reader. I mean, I don't. I don't see myself reading those 20 novels in the summer, and, but I worked the summer, but, um, which, is a, which is a cool thing. And he, he was talking in particular about Desolation Island, which is the next one I have to read, so that, that was nice. But I'm glad to have these. So now I have the two of them. Um, and, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to get to. I don't think I'll do it before. Maybe I'll do one before I'm done with the uh, Aubrey Matter. I don't know. I just picked up a biography over there of Patrick O'Brien, um, a critical bibliography of Patrick O'Brien. So I've got quite a bit of stuff left to read, and not not even to mention uh, the, the rest of the Aubrey Matterin books, which I, I do those with Steve Donahue. So I just have to see when Steve's ready to read the next one. The other thing I got here is something I've had before, and I think I may have had it. I can't remember for sure. I may have had it in a large trade paperback. About the same size as hardback, which is quite huge. I was excited when I saw it. There was a lot of other things at that store, but we were pressed for time. But uh, it's this thing. The Fine Art of Murder. Beautiful thing. A big old hardback. And it's uh, edited by Ed Gorman, Martin H. Greenberg, who you see on a lot of edited volumes. Larry Seagriff and John with John L. Breen. And uh, this thing uh, came out, let me see here, in 1993, and the Galahad Books edition is 1995. So uh, here's the inside here. Some of you will recognize some of that artwork. And there's tons of artwork in here. Here's a copy, uh, an image of the magazine The Armchair Detective full-size magazine last time I checked um, so you have everything from hard-boiled mysteries to stuff about British mysteries uh, gay um, and lesbian mystery um, you have series you have different religious themed mysteries um, the Haycroft Queen Library so you have a lot of lists you have author interviews, you have regional, like there's a big section on New England mysteries, uh, also New York and Chicago, and then, uh, so it's, it can be quite fun. It's, if you're into mysteries, even though obviously a lot in the mystery genre has happened since then, it can still be fun for you to, uh, um, you know, dig into. It's, it's meant to be a fun volume, although also useful. So I was really glad to get this. Um, so another bit of fun. So but two books today and uh, happy to have both of them. We had a little bit of adventure. I should just go down and get a new copy of my Delorme's Gazetteer for Vermont and have it in, well I actually should get two, one for each car. Our old one I think just fell apart so they get beat up a little bit. They get used under less than ideal circumstances, but uh, yeah, they're good to have. So a little bit of an adventurous road trip and a couple of books to show for it and uh, a beautiful day. I mean, we saw some scenery that was just incredible. So hope everyone's doing well and we will see you soon. Thank you, BookTube.